When purchasing your switch, make sure it's the right one. A single pole switch will have one ground screw and two terminal screws. This is the most common switch in a house, where one switch controls one or more lights. Before installing, use a wire tester to test for current. I see here that the wires are hot, so I will turn the current off at the breaker. Always test the wires before you touch them. In this case, it's new construction, and none of the wires have been tied together. I first spread out the two separate sets of wires, the set of wires coming to the top and a set of wires coming to the bottom of the box. The two bare wires are your ground wires. The white wires are your neutral wires. And the black wires are your hot wires. The first thing I like to do is to twist the ground wires together. Twist the wires inside the box, leaving both ends long. Then cut one of the ends off. This leaves a single ground wire ready to connect to the switch. Prep the end of this wire for installation by making a small hook. Turn the power back on so I can test and see which line is hot. The hot wire, which I expect to be a black wire, is coming from the circuit panel. The black wire that's not hot is the load line which feeds the light. Now that the wires are identified, you can turn the power back off. Starting with the white wires, you will strip a little bit of the insulation off the tips using a wire stripper. Next, attach these two wires by twisting the ends together. Then secure using a wire nut. These wires can now be neatly tucked inside the box. This leaves the ends that will be hooked to our switch, the black line and load, and the ground. With wire strippers, prepare the ends of the black wires by stripping a little bit of the insulation off the tips. Now create a hook on the bare ends of these two wires. The switch can now be installed. First, identify the ground screw on the switch. Sometimes it's painted green. I simply hook the bare ground wire around the ground screw. It's best if the hook loop travels clockwise around the screw, so when you tighten it down with the screwdriver, it's less likely to come off. Next, hold the switch in the proper position. Secure the black hot wire, that is, the line wire, to the bottom terminal screw. Then secure the black load wire, that is, the wire that goes to the light, on the top terminal. At this point, I like to test the switch to see if it's functioning properly. Turn the power back on. Being careful to only touch the toggle, I test the function of the light switch. Once satisfied that it's in good working order, I can now install it into the box. Turn the power back off before doing this. Neatly tuck all the wires back into the box. Secure the switch by screwing it into place, adjusting for straight position as you tighten. Install the cover plate and then tighten the screws. Do not over tighten or you will crack the cover plate. And finally, turn the power back on and your light switch is now ready to use.